What is going on guys? Welcome to your third part of this little mini-series of how to develop an RPG for the iPhone. And so far what we did is we created a world using, you know, map editor. So right now we have basically a map on the screen. Looks pretty cool, but in order for this to be any sort of game instead of just, you know, 2D Google Maps, we actually need a character or a player to add to this screen. So what I did is, let me go ahead and exit out of this iPhone simulator, is I made a little dude right here, dude.ping, and I'm going to go ahead and import him into resources. Um, Go ahead and import any ping you want. Obviously, your dude's probably not going to be as highly skilled graphically as mine. This took me about five hours to do. But uh, yeah, once you got something imported, you're ready to move on to the next step. So let's go ahead and no need to save that. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to open Tiled again, and we actually want to add him to our video game. So how do we do that? Well, in order to add, well, let's just go ahead and cover this first. Before in order to make the map what we did is we built tiled layers that's just the background layer with tiles pictures we know how to do that but what we want to do is we want to add a new object layer so in order to do this maybe I should move it up here in order to do this go ahead up to layer add object layer and now you see you have a different layer aside from your background background and object layer one go ahead and rename this to OJ we'll name all of our layers two different letters so it'll be simple OJ object there you go so now what we want to do is check this out whenever you click on the screen you don't get tiles but these weird gray things that pop up that you can also drag around so let's go ahead and press command Z to get rid of those and what these are is they're pretty much blank objects that we can do what we want with so the only thing we want to do now is we want to click a spot for our player to start out so go ahead and click anywhere on the screen um... let's see this looks like a nice place to start out let's put it in the center right there so go ahead and click on a spot anywhere on the screen and this gray blank object is gonna appear there so now what we want to do is we need a way to identify the different objects on our screen and this is just in case we have a bunch of different objects um, this is what you do right click it once you made it and click object properties and now we need to give it a name this is pretty much going to be our identifier and I'm just going to name mine start point since this is the start point for the dude we're going to add so go ahead and press ok so now you see start point is over this uh, little object you can't see the whole world word but it's there trust me so now that we got an object made here's what we need to do go ahead and click file save and before I go over this I just want to go over this one time we created a new layer for object and that layer is named OJ and then on that layer we created one object named start point alright so like I said go ahead file save X out of tiled and now what we need to do is this in resources go ahead and right click Bucky's map and go ahead and delete this and also move it to trash is very important and now we have no tiled maps in go ahead and re-import the new saved version with the object layers and this is how you get your new maps on the screen and you also probably want to do this highlight your uh, main thing right there and click build clean all targets and clean and now what this is going to do is it's pretty much just going to refresh everything and make sure it doesn't use the old map accidentally alright so now we deleted our old map and we re-imported our new one because the new one has our object layer now we can go ahead and start typing some code of course we need a uh, sprite for the dude and just go ahead and put cc sprite and then just name him dude or dud whatever your call and now let's just go ahead and copy this and paste this right here and now what we want to do is let me check my code real quick looks good and now what we want to do is just housekeeping stuff synthesize them synthesize the dude 
and we might as well go ahead and release them right now. Self dot dude equals nil when we're done. So let me think if I have time to finish this tutorial. Actually, in the next tutorial, what I'm going to be doing is actually um, changing the init method and adding him to the screen because there's a lot of things I need to cover and I'm probably not going to have enough time in this tutorial. But anyways, make sure for the coding for this tutorial, you add a sprite called dude, of course, property, synthesize that property, and also release it right here. In the next tutorial, we'll be adding him to the screen. So that's all I have for you guys for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, you know, enough of me talking. Just check out the next tutorial. So, uh, and don't forget to check out my forum. It's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. See you later.